Hello students, in this video, let us understand how to calculate accounting rate of return uh, when two uh, machines are given. So before that, let us understand which cash flow required to calculate the accounting rate of return or ARR. Cash flow required for ARR is income or profit after depreciation and tax so that this can be calculated by deducting depreciation first then tax so if you deduct depreciation and tax in the same process you will get income or profit after depreciation and tax this is the cash flow required to calculate ARR that is accounting rate of return. A deduction has to be made in the same process in the sense first depreciation has to be deducted after deducting depreciation we are supposed to deduct tax. So this is the process which we require to follow to determine income or profit after de depreciation and tax. Here we have a problem. Determine the accounting rate of return from the following two machines X and Y. They have given some of the informations relating to machine X and machine Y. They have given original cost is nothing but investment. 56,125, 56,125 for both of the machines. Then additional investment in working capital is given. 5,000 for machine X and 6,000 for machine Y. Then estimated life is given 5 years for both of the machines. Then estimated salvage value is given 3,000 for each. Then income tax rate is given 55% each. Then they have given annual estimated income after depreciation and tax. So they have given after depreciation and tax. So the cash flow we require to calculate accounting rate of return is income after depreciation and tax. So in this problem they have directly given income after depreciation and tax. So we no need to deduct either depreciation and tax. The information about the income tax is given in this problem is not required. In the same way depreciation has been charged on straight line basis this is also not required. Why because uh, in the problem income uh, whatever given is after depreciation and tax. Well, the cash flow we require is after depreciation and tax. So since it is given directly we not require to deduct either depreciation or tax. So uh, they have given cash inflow cash flows or income for five years and they were they you know they have given total also uh, now let us learn how to calculate accounting rate of return or arr first for machine x um, the arr can be calculated by using the formula that is annual average net income income or earnings divided by average investment into 100. So first we need to calculate average incomes that is average income after depreciation and tax. Then we need to calculate average investment. So if, uh, if we divide and multiply with 100 we will get accounting rate of return. So first let us calculate average investment. So average investment can be calculated by using the formula that is original investment divided by 2 if scrap value and additional working capital is not given. And the problem will be scrap value and additional working capital is not Average investment is calculated by original investment divided by 2. It is very simple. If scrap value and additional working capital is given means we need to use this formula. In this problem they have given working capital and they have given salvage value is nothing but scrap value. So we need to use this formula. 
here the original investment given is 56,125 and scrap value given is 3000 it has to be deducted first then divided by 2 plus we need to add the working capital for machine x they have given 5000 working capital it has to be added 5000 plus we need to add back the scrap value which has been deducted in the previous you know step uh, 3000 so 56125 minus 3000 divided by 2 you will get 26563 plus 5000 plus 3000 it will be 8000 here the calculation first we need to deduct the scrap value from the original investment then divided by 2 you will get 26,563 then you, you, need, you need to add back you know add the working capital and scrap value that is 8,000 uh, the original you know average investment will be 34,563 rupees for machine X then after calculating average investment we need to calculate average uh, you know annual average net earnings so it can be calculated total income after depreciation and tax we need to make it total in this problem uh, they have given total that is 36,875 if not given means we need to make a total so it will be 36,875 divided by estimated life of machine so here estimated life of the machine is given 5 years so divided by 5 if estimated life is not given means we need to add you know consider the cash flows that is given for 5 years so we need to divide with 5 years divided by 5 it will be 7375 therefore ARR accounting rate of return is equal to average annual net earnings that is 7375 divided by average investment 34563 into 100 it will be 21.34% for machine X. In the same way we need to calculate for machine Y as well. The formula is same average annual net earnings divided by average investment into 100. So first we need to calculate average investment so since scrap value and working capital is given we need to use this formula uh, original investment minus scrap value divided by 2 plus additional working capital plus scrap value original investment given in the problem for machine y is 56125 minus scrap value for machine y is 3000 rupees given in the problem it has to be deducted divided by 2 plus additional working capital is 6000 then scrap value we need to add it you know add back that is 3000 rupees so 56125 minus 3000 divided by 2 it will be 26563 plus 6000 plus 3000 9000 average investment will be 35563 therefore arr is average annual net earnings divided by average investment so we need to calculate average net earnings for machine y as well so since the cash flow total of cash flow is 36875 we have not calculated separately because we have already calculated for machine x 36875 divided by 5 so we have obtained 7375 so 7375 divided by average investment we have calculated that is uh, 35,563 into 100 you will get 20.74 so ARR for machine X is 21.34% and ARR for machine Y is 20.74 so when we compare both the uh, machines that is machine X and machine Y since ARR of machine X is higher than machine Y machine X has to be considered because uh, it yield more return than machine Y. Thank you students.